Hi, it's Michael Pinkus, the great guy from MichaelPinkusWineReview.com, and today we're going to be talking Cabernet Franc, and we're also going to be talking about major wine-making decisions. There is nothing like being in the room when one is made, and there's nothing that compares to being part of the decision-making. Let me tell you what I mean. Earlier this year, I'm going to say sometime in the late spring, I was at Pondview, and Pondview was letting me try their new whites and their rosé and their basically their lineup for summer. Winemaker Fred DiProfio walked in, looked at owner Lupa Glisi and he said, hey, have we made the decision to filter or unfilter the Bellaterra Reds this year? Which led to a really exciting tasting. It seems that Pondview, when they did their 2010s, they did two bottlings. They did a case unfiltered and they did the regular release, which was all filtered. We tried them side by side. Now it's time to reveal the decision. Because this is the Pondview 2012 Cabernet Franc Bella Terra unfiltered. Yes, they decided to go the unfiltered route. Aromas, the moment you pop the cork, start pouring in the glass, it's just wafting up into the air, into your nasal passages, raspberry, vanilla, cinnamon, smoke, lovely. And on the palate, spice and pepper join those fruits with raspberry and cassis. It takes them a little bit of time, but they do show themselves. They've also got some really bold tannins in the bottle. Which brings me to the yin and yang of this wine. It's got a really aggressive start on the palate, but a silky smooth, smoky finish. I would tell you to age the wine seven years, and that's a conservative estimate because of the unfiltering. It's a lovely wine, though. If you're a Cabernet Franc fan, you want to have some of this in your cellar. That's the Pondview 2012 Cabernet Franc Bella Terra Unfiltered. $34.95, and I give it four and a half stars out of five. I'm Michael Pincus, the great guy for MichaelPincusWineReview.com. Join me again next week when we'll look at another great bottle of Ontario wine.